Concave Drop describes how much concave a skateboard has. More specifically, concave drop is the vertical difference in height between the side of the board, called the rail, and the center of the board. Note that in SkateCAD, this is measured before the rails are rounded over, so the actual concave after the rails are rounded will be slightly less. Concave drop alone isn't very useful of a specification until we include the width of the board as well. For example, a half inch of concave drop across a seven inch wide board will feel much steeper than a half inch of concave drop across an 11 inch board. The more concave you have, the steeper the board will feel and the more leverage you'll have for tricks and securing your feet on the board. More concave also adds a bit of stability when in a rail stand, since it widens the points of contact your board makes with the ground. More concave also helps lessen the risk of wheel bite, which is when your wheel hits the bottom of your deck when turning, which can cause you to stop short. Less concave provides a mellower feel, which may feel more comfortable to some skaters. Also, concave makes a board stiffer, so by reducing it, you can create a board with a bit more flex in the middle, which provides a more comfortable ride. If you are not sure where to begin, here's a quick tip. If you'd like to do more tricks or maneuvers that involve sliding with your board, seek out a board with around 0.4 or 0.5 inches of concave drop. If you'd like to use your board more for transportation or dancing, a board with very little concave, maybe around 0.1 or 0.2 inches, could suit you well. It is nice to have at least a little bit of concave to help secure your feet on the board. To start experimenting with concave drop, visit SkateCAD at skatecad.com.